I have with me um, Heart Bastard. <laughs> so I've been wondering all day, uh, all morning, do I have to say Bastard? But that's his name. He called himself that. Heart Bastard, also known as uh, HB. So I call him HB for short. A social justice and free speech advocate on uh, YouTube. I wanted to talk to him about religion and politics. Uh, HB, welcome to the show, sir. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me, sir. HB, how did you come up with the name, or why did you come up with the name Hard Bastard? I uh, started out on YouTube, and and uh, I didn't want to use my real name. I wanted to maintain anonymity. So uh, there was a an old uh, kung fu movie uh, with that title, and so that's that's really where the name came from. <laughs> A very interesting name. Um, you used to be, I read that you were a liberal at one time, but mm -hmm. you're no longer a liberal. Is that true? Yeah, I think it's true. It's It's been uh, interesting adjusting to that because I, I don't feel like I've changed, but I do think that um, a lot of the beliefs that I have now are considered conservative. Uh, for example, um, being a free speech advocate uh, seems to be a, a conservative position now. And did, um, why were you a liberal? How did you become one? And why were you a liberal? Because a real, men, real men are not liberal. Only beta males are liberals. Yeah, I mean, I, it's it, the problem is I, I really can't argue with you now. I mean, maybe if we had this uh, discussion 10 years ago or five <laughs> years ago, I could make a better argument for liberal men. Um, I, I guess really it, it probably comes down to how I was raised. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that, uh, the, the switch really has to do with what I view as the left going crazy. And a lot of what I used to think were just standard liberal ideas like yeah. free speech, uh, are now they're against free speech. And, and now, um, there's also, if you, uh, disagree pretty much with any of the ideology, you're called a Nazi or a racist or, or a conservative. So I think there's a lot of us, uh, kind of in the same boat now that that we're considered conservative, even though we might not even kind of feel th that we've changed. Yes. And were you raised by your mother only? No, no, I was raised uh, by both parents. And were they liberal? They were. I, I was raised in a religious cult. Uh, so I I I think they were con pretty much conservative. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, it, they weren't Christian conservative uh, in the traditional sense, um, but uh, yeah, I think if 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 people are uh, religious, they're generally going to be on the conservative side. So I, I, I would label them. I would label them conservative. And you were uh, raised a Jehovah Witness. Yes, that's correct. That's a hard religion to be a part of. Yes, very hard. I, I consider it a cult. Um, and uh, yeah, that that was it was quite an experience being uh, in that religion. Give us an example of what it was like for you growing up as a Jehovah Witness. Uh, so you had your uh, mandatory uh, five meetings a week plus uh, field service, which was, you know, knocking on doors and proselytizing. And then there was, you know, when you were in school, you weren't allowed to celebrate Christmas, weren't allowed to celebrate Halloween. Um, it seemed like there was a lot that the uh, leaders in the organization uh, like to do to make their adherence stand out among other people. And that, that ended up bringing a, a lot of uh, unnecess unnecessary pressure not only on me, but any, you know, Jehovah's Witness kid that has to go through school being a Jehovah's Witness. Um, so growing up as a Jehovah's Witness, you weren't able to party and have good times and just kind of be a kid? Correct. Yeah. And now I, I had periods like when I was around 15 or 16 where I, I, I guess you would be you would consider it the rebellious stage where I did kind of uh, – engage in what you would call partying or, or whatever. But uh, for the most part, um, pre, you know, uh, teenage years, it, it was a very strict upbringing. And um, um, why are they so, do they, they don't believe in serving in the military either, am I right? Correct. Yeah, that's correct. Amazing. Why yeah. is this religion so strict like that? And why would anybody want to be a part of that type of a so-called religion? 
I think the reason that I draw the distinction between um, religion and cult is I think the Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, particularly the leadership, they they use um, specific techniques similar to uh, uh, Scientology and other cults that um, it's very authoritarian. Uh, one of the ways that they keep you in line is that if you ever step out of line, if you ever disagree with any of the doctrine, you're uh, disfellowshipped, which means that all of your friends and family are, are have to basically shun you. Um, Scientology has a similar policy. It's called disconnection. And I think that's probably one of the ways that, that they exert the most power over their uh, adherents. How did you manage to get out of it? Uh, around 2006, 2007, I uh, I started to hear things uh, during uh, a lot of the, the, the speeches, uh, and they would say things like, uh, avoid the internet, and don't look up Jehovah's Witnesses on the internet, and uh, I, I just they kept saying it so frequently that I, I just felt like this is really suspicious. <laughs> Why are they saying that? And and that's what I did. I started to do research uh, on the internet. And, um, I, you know, once you start um, pretty much there, I mean, there, there's so much, uh, uh, there's so many skeletons in the, the, the closet uh, through its history. And depending on if you want to take it from a, a theological standpoint, a lot of inconsistencies. So I, I think once you have access to all the information that they try to hide from you, you can discover for yourself that it, it's a religious cult. And so now that you're out, are you being shunned by your father, mother, family members, and other people who are part of this? No, I, I was fortunate. I was able to get out uh, a lot of people. I was able to, uh, when I realized that it wasn't, because uh, they consider it the true religion. So when I really, when I realized that it wasn't the true religion and that I was actually in a cult, I, I knew that I had to be careful. And I also wanted to help other people get out uh, in my family and some friends as well. So I, I, I played it really cool and, and, and tried to really slowly reason with people. I was successful in, in getting a few family members out and a few friends out. So I, I consider myself very fortunate compared to a lot of other people that have been shunned by their uh, family that have left the religion. And so uh, your father and mother, are they still a part of this? No, no, they're not a uh, part of it anymore either. Oh, they left it as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, was it because of you? Uh, my father was never really in the religion that much. He was more casual about it. But uh. Uh, my mother, I I had to really be careful and and work very careful with to try to wake her up. And and fortunately, I was successful. Nice. And what do you believe now? I'm pretty much agnostic. You could probably consider me agnostic slash atheist. Although I think I. I there is a, a certainty that some atheists have that I, that I don't agree with, but I, I would say uh, pretty much agnostic. Meaning that you don't believe there is a God now or you believe it, but you just don't believe it. <laughs> I think I, I'm not really I, I don't like organized religion. And so uh, whether or not God exists, it's certainly possible. Um, but uh, it's pretty much the the organized religion and what I see in a lot of organized religions and how they're run is what I mostly have a problem with. Do you believe that it's possible to know for sure there is a God, or do you think it's impossible to really know that there is a God? Yeah, I, I haven't found anything convincing uh, that would uh, lead me to believe that God definitely exists. I also don't think, uh, which, which is what I was referencing before about it, some atheists are, are so certain that I, 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 find, uh, I, I find some suspicion in that, the certainty. Um, I, I think it's possible, um, but either way, I'm, I'm not certain. Amazing. And um, did Donald Trump have an influence on you changing from a liberal to a conservative? That's a good question. I, I put most of it on the media. Um, I started out the election cycle. Uh, I was going to vote for Clinton. And then just watching, I, I started to watch a lot of uh, uh, of news, uh, and uh, this was kind of around the time that I started my uh, YouTube channel. And um, the the level of lying that the media engaged in about Trump, 
Uh, even though w when when this all started, I didn't really particularly like him. It, it was just so out of hand and out of control that eventually I, I ended up voting for him. And and uh, I, I, I support him from the standpoint of I think that right now there is a, a, a coup attempt. Uh, and I think that the uh, establishment's trying to remove him from office. Yes. And I think regardless of, of what you think of the president, that's not something that should be tolerated. All right, Basham, what's your website? Uh, hardnews.network. Uh, what is a man? Uh, I think a man is, is somebody that uh, takes control of his own destiny and uh, t takes uh, a leadership role and uh, uh, is tough, basically. Are you a beta or an alpha male? Uh, I think those judgments I, I leave up to, to other people. <laughs> I, I would hope that I would be an alpha male, but right. it's really ultimately, I, I, I think, uh, up to uh, other people to judge that. Amazing. Do you have anger? No, no. You're, you're, you have no anger, period, on the inside of you. I, I will say I do get outraged uh, with with what I particularly with what I cover as far as on the YouTube channel with with media propaganda. I, I will say that at times I get completely outraged with with what I see. And so I, I guess from that standpoint, that would be considered anger. So do you have perfect peace within? Uh, I, yeah, I feel pretty good. I mean, perfection, that's a bit that's a bit of a, a strong word, but yeah, I, I feel pretty good. Um, what do you think about we my starting white history month this year this is our first year of celebrating the entire month of july as white history month what do you think about that i uh, yeah i have no problem with it I, i'm not personally an identitarian but i think that uh, uh I, I like the it, it seems to be kind of a middle finger to the establishment because <laughs> there, there seems to be an anti-white narrative especially yes. in the corporate media so so I, I think it's fun you oh what is love um, that's a good question. I, I, I guess love would be, uh, what you should, uh, hope to, uh, show each other and, uh, treat each other well. I guess that would be my definition. You have a segment on your stream debunking the young Turks. Yes. I, I've debated him several, some time. You had on my show. I've been on his show. What is your main issue with the young Turk? Turks? Uh, the uh, the level of propaganda that they engage in, I, I find to be extreme. I think it's gotten worse. Uh, maybe a few years ago, it wasn't uh, on the level that it is now. But I really don't find any different between them and the uh, narratives uh, of the corporate media. Amazing. Um, so is he? A, I don't know where he's coming from. He doesn't make sense about anything. Is he a liberal? I think he's a, a liberal. He calls himself a progressive. I, I also think that he's become so partisan. I, I mean, he, the, there was a, a video a few months ago where Chank claimed that he was not partisan, which is completely laughable. And I think he's just lost all ability. I think Trump has really caused him to lose all ability uh, to reason. <laughs> That's happened to a lot of folks, the children, yes. the children of the lie. And you dealt with copy strikes from YouTube. Uh, does YouTube favor big companies over little people? Yes. The yes. Man. The, the Atlantic specifically, uh, I had a video where I was analyzing uh, a video that was talked about on MSNBC that they did where they went to Gaza and I didn't agree with their position on it. Um, and uh, yeah, the Atlantic copyright struck the uh, 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 the video, and it, it was not uh, something that I was allowed to uh, rebut. And so uh, basically, I wasn't able, I'm not able to live stream for three months. And I think it's a way that they're trying to censor uh, people in independent media that don't uh, agree with the ideology. Amazing. I have really enjoyed talking to you, man. I, I, Likewise, sir. I hope we talk more as time moves forward here. Uh, do you have a last word, anything you want to say? Um, yeah, I think, um, you know, I've been watching a lot of your uh, videos, uh, to, you know, in preparation for, for the interview. And um, I think that uh, I noticed that there's a, a lot of conservative Christians that, that watch uh, my channel. And I, I think that there is a kind of a, 
a, a way that even if we have uh, religious disagreements and we don't agree on, on the religious theology, I think a lot of us agree on fundamentals like the Constitution, free speech, yes. uh, support for the presidency. If the people, whoever the people have elected is who should be president, there shouldn't be some sort of deep state coup. And I, I, that's pretty much it. I, 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 with all of the, the, the crazy uh, language from people like Maxine Waters, I, I think it's good to, to, to find people that you can find common ground with. I absolutely agree. And I love working with people who are standing up for freedom. You know, whatever their religion is, that's on them. Sure. Uh, I, I, you know, it doesn't bother me either way, but I want Americans of all races, men and women, to join forces to save this great nation because the children of the lie are desperately trying to destroy it. Yeah, I'm completely on board with that. I, I really appreciate you having me, sir. It was fun. Uh, believe me, if the Lord is willing and the creek don't rise, you will be back. We'll have you back. Okay, great. Thank you very much. And thank you, buddy. God bless you. All right, you too. Thank you. All right. Amazing. Absolutely nice. I'm glad to meet him. I need you all to subscribe, support us on Patreon, like us on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter.